Well, today we're going to make a chocolate house rather than gingerbread house. Yeah, we need gingerbread. Kids don't eat the gingerbread, especially when you get the pre-made gingerbread houses. So we got some <laughs> chocolate molds. Uh, everyone likes chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we're going to experiment by making a Halloween chocolate mold. See if we can actually do this for Christmas time. So we've got some Rex scary shapes that we'll stick on with um, chocolate frosting. Yes. And then orange and green candy melts. Apparently they didn't have purple. No, they didn't have purple. Sad. We could have tried making it, but too much mm. effort. Too much effort. That requires work and stuff. So we'll figure out which colors we're going to use and where we're going to use them. And then lots of chocolate. <gasps> You want the good kind and the purple. The purple, the purple kind. The purple kind. Well, follow along as we attempt to make a chocolate house. And this may never really go online because it's probably going to break and be horrible. Well, if it but does. But we'll still eat it. If it does break, then it's just a condemned haunted house. Oh, that's true. Condemned. The oh, ghost, I don't have any The ghost destroyed it. Ghost. So enjoy our speed building of a chocolate house. Oh. <laughs> it's time for Horn Quest. Yeah, Horn Well, it's a little bit after Halloween, as we kind of thought. In fact, it's after Christmas. It is? Yeah, it is. We is miss it, Christmas. Is it in the new year? It's even in the new year. Oh, oh we've been busy. <laughs> so, we learned from the Halloween house. It came out pretty good. Yeah. Now, we figured the chocolate melts, they were a little bit more structurally sound. Yeah. So, when we took out the mold for the, I think the front of the door, it broke. So, for part two... Um, we decided to make Christmas chocolate house. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be some pictures while yeah. we're talking. Um, we did what red and green chocolate melts, I think, and for, white and some blue. Yeah, for the roof. 
So yeah, and so we did a big layer of that, and then we did regular chocolate behind it. And that came out a lot better, a lot more structurally sound. But all in all, I think it came out pretty good. It tasted good too. Tastes good, because it tastes like chocolate! Yum, Depends yum, on yum. what chocolate you use though. Catberry chocolate. Mm -hmm. Now, if you, you can probably use regular chocolate, but you have to make sure you temper it. Otherwise, because mm. I didn't bother. So it comes out a little bit crumbly, so it breaks a lot easier. Not as structured. But it's thing. behind the chocolate melt, so you don't see that. Yes. Which but you could if you wanted to. You just have to melt it and to a certain temperature and then or you do some stuff. Or if you didn't stuff. want to use chocolate melts and you just wanted it to be completely pure chocolate. Yeah. So there'll be a link in the description um, to chocolate to the chocolate mold we got. So if you want to make your own, you can go and get yourself your own mold. And you should, because it's much better than a gingerbread house. Chocolate wins. Mm -hmm. Comment below if you think gingerbread wins. I don't think anybody will, because chocolate always wins. There are people who like gingerbread. More than chocolate? There are people mm -mm. who don't like chocolate. <sighs> What's wrong with you people? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Well, until next time, maybe we'll come up with some other chocolate thing. Mm, chocolate frogs. Ah, uh, yes. We need to make our chocolate frogs from the Harry Potter boxes. We have lots of recipes we need to make <laughs> from that. So until next time, bye! bye!